trying to uh, establish the difference between and distant travel. So the velocity is given by t squared plus phi t plus four. So remember that the uh, derivative of the position is velocity. And uh, we're going back by integrating from negative three to phi, t squared plus phi t plus four t. The answer for that problem, t q over three plus phi t squared over two plus four t. So now we're going to substitute the phi q plus phi squared over two plus four times phi. And then we're going to subtract uh, negative three to the third power over three plus phi negative three squared over two plus 40, which is four times negative three. Put that in my calculator. Let's see what we got. And uh, the displacement for that particular, uh, that particle uh, will be the following. So total displacement, it will be 125 over three. Now, okay. 25 divided by three plus uh, 125 divided by two. So, or you can go to math nine and do from negative three to five. Or 13, that will give you s squared plus 5x plus 4, 5x plus 4, dx. So the answer is 122.5. Seven. That is your displacement. The distance travel will be pretty much the same thing, except that you have to use the absolute value. So in this case, uh, we got t squared plus five t plus four uh, dt on the outside. If this is a calculator function, you can use your calculator. Otherwise, you have to do it by hand. And uh, from negative three to five, uh, the actual value is found in math. And then move to the right, uh, ABS. And now you enter the function S squared plus phi x plus four dx. And the answer is 149.667. Keep in mind that these three digits is required by the AP exam, just in case. So you see the difference between a displacement prior to the right and the, dis the total distance travel or distance travel. All right, I hope that you like that video and I hope to help you next time.